We're recording right now. Okay. I'm an idiot. I do stupid things all the time. Sometimes, yeah. Stupid things. I do things that are dangerous. I've taken some bumps professional wrestling-wise. I've jumped off some stuff. Remember that time when um, Porno Arcade played in Kentucky and I jumped I off that there. speaker? Well, I jumped off of a speaker and I slipped on the stage and there was a beer glass, one of those big, thick beer glasses, and I landed like with my butt on it. Like You guys have seen the jar video, I'm sure. This was almost that, but I was wearing pants, thankfully, and it just shattered, and I like could have cut, like I could have had an Thank artery God sliced. I could have, and I was in the middle of nowhere. It's like Whitesburg, right? Yeah, Kentucky. Would have taken an hour and a half. I could have. They would have had taken more. me to Pikeville, Kentucky, from yeah. there. But it it could have been a true tragedy. But that would have been pretty epic at the same well, time. Well, you came home and you were like, but, man, I've done that, and I was like, well, let me look because that's what partners do, and it was like a little bruise. And yeah. then the next day, it was, was like black, black yeah. for like two weeks. Because the glass shattered, you know, it was a thick beer glass, it was like beer mug almost, but it didn't have the handle. But anyway, stupid stuff. I do stupid stuff, dangerous stuff all the time. I try not to do but dangerous But a large things. majority of the things that I'm doing that are dangerous, I'm like the only one that can get hurt. It has nothing to do with anybody else. It's me. Or, you know, the person who's agreed to wrestle me. Right, like or my bandmates related. or people who are at the show knowing that they are also risking like their you've health. signed up. We've all signed up yeah. for it. Same thing. I play Same thing for roller you. derby. Yeah. You have to sign a piece of paper saying, if I get really screwed up, like, I ask for this. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not going to say... I'm getting to a point. <laughs> I'm not going to say, don't do stupid stuff. That's you know dangerous. Dangerous if Some that's what you like. Extreme sports. There's a risk in a lot of things. I'm not saying don't do your own thing and take your risks when it applies to you and you alone. Pretty much, then that's on you to do what evil you want. Knievel. Evil can evil. You know, just when other people are involved, when people who didn't sign up for it are involved, and their health is at risk. You need to pump your brakes, okay? Stop signs. They're there for a reason. Stop lights are there for a reason. There are plenty of things in our society. Seat belts are there for a reason. Oven There's mitts. a reason why you can't go to a playground and explain the male or female anatomy to children, even though we have free speech in America. That free speech is not protected. You can get sued for threatening someone if there's reason to believe that you're going to do it and that you could do it. You can't say that stuff. Yes, we have the freedom of speech. You do not have the freedom to threaten and harass people or be vulgar to children in public or, you know, you can't do that. Or at home. Or, uh, but the reason why is because how much does your right infringe on the rights of other people. Sure. Well, when it comes to the virus, the virus, 2020, that thing that's going on that everybody knows about that if we mention too much, will this video get flagged and buried to the bottom of the internet? It's happening. If you believe that that's fake, then you're an absolute idiot. You're a moron. <laughs> and if you think that it can't happen to you because you've only seen it on the news, just wait. Just wait. Buckle your damn seatbelt. Because there's so many absolute freaking morons running around, ruining it for everybody, pissing their pants in public and running around just absolute slobs. Oh, no. Like, <laughs> I, need to, I need to show you. There's this TikTok video. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I've been obsessed with TikTok for the last few months. And there's this man. I'm sorry. I'm almost 30 years old and I'm obsessed with TikTok. Anyway, uh, there's this man and he had cut off a pair of underwear and wore it like a mask. And he went inside a store and was like, ha ha, I'm going to show you guys, ha ha ha. And it's like, yeah, I'm the idiot in this Yeah, situation. you're the one wearing underwear on your face. Yeah, well, 
it's just dumb. When you look at people on the side of whatever, man, all the, you know, those guys, they are absolute idiots that you wouldn't want to, like, I don't know, bag your groceries. I don't know. Also, we live in an area that a lot of people um, don't believe in wearing masks. Um, Which is beyond me. And the numbers are soaring. So maybe where you're from, like things are taken a lot more seriously and we applaud that. But at least for where, you know, in our small niche community, it's like banging your head against the wall just trying to get through the back end of the situation. But anyway, I think that goes without saying that this video is going to be. Inter- all of that. It's going to be entertaining <laughs> because this is this is all gas, no brakes. And this is the first time that I've ever watched one of these videos. No, but based off the thumbnail, I've already seen a meme from this. So I know what's about to happen. Nikki is about to be Mega Man level, like super duper explosive triggered, I'm sure. This is at the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. And... I, I'm looking forward to watching this. I'm excited. I, I, we personally know people who went to this event to Why? to to go ahead and further point to we know this all Literally too well. No. We might as well be living at Sturgis Motorcycle Rally right now. But let's go ahead and bring this up. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, oh go. boy! Oh boy! Tacos and Trump, baby. Hell yeah. This is not what I thought. Trump, motorcycles, and life. And don't forget my motherfucking guns, baby. I want my fucking guns. Hell yeah. What's that? Getting ready, baby. That's getting ready for the concert. We're ready to party. We ain't worried about no cobra. Because why? Because we are cobra? independents. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Do you see what just happened? They say, hey, bow the fuck down, shut down your fucking businesses, wear a fucking mask. And we all said, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're little bitches, dude. They just fucking, they just. That's the government. Dude, you know I, mean? I gotta already stop it. Like, why do we need scientists? Why do we need politicians and, and people inside government to make policy and to go to school for years and years and years? Go down to your local garage. Go go to your local blue-collar uh, construction sites and just get them. Stop at the porta potty right? Because if you get them right before they take a dump, they're going to be all frantic to get shit done so they can finally get to the toilet and they work hard and they're men and they know everything. There's a time and a place for all of that. And if I need to ask you about something related to one of those jobs, I'm going to come to you. To you. you. You're the one that I'm going to ask, like, what roofing do I need? Because I don't know. Because I don't know. But. But when it comes to science, policy, uh, tax code. Public health. Public health law. Let's just play this. Let's go. Come on. Sh- shut the fuck up. So what does it mean to be a one percenter? To me, it means if you broke into my house, I'm not calling the cops. I'm calling my brothers. You know what I mean? It's a different lifestyle that you probably lead. Fucking sons nice. of anarchy. Fucking all up for us, dude. It's a soap opera, dude. You know, we're not out killing nobody. We're right here with you. You can be a woman center, you know what I mean? It's about family, loyalty, and respect. Show your tits! Yeah. The Vice News crew. Hey, no. bitch. Hey, no. Hey, no. Oh, no. Hot COVID, you fly, you motherfucker! Hot COVID. You gotta sanitize your shit. Yes. 
From Russia with love. I would rather die than wear a mask. Relax. This Maybe is a you have. False flag it's Stone Cold it's Steve pandemic. Awful. Masks do nothing. <laughs> it's to keep people in fear while you have all these liberal Democrat states trying to pull a socialism switch on us. What happens then? Well, we know what happens. Look at Venezuela. I'd rather die. I'm not wearing a mask. I mean, I hate to say it, but look what happened to the Jews. They didn't think they were being put on trains to go and do what happened. People are being used like human pawns. Then you've got the education system teaching all of our kids that it was built on the backs of slaves. Are you fucking kidding me? It's over. California is like a third world country. I spent a hundred hours what? a week on the freeway. People are scared to death. And the sheep are waking up slowly. Oh, the silent sheeple. majority is already speaking. It's our country again. You know what I mean? I've been dead four times. I'm not afraid to die. The Bro, wisdom. Right about Mexicans, that's all. I didn't hear the first part of that. I'm happy that I did. No more bullshit. No more bullshit. No more bullshit. No more bullshit. Hard Rock Cafe. What's the, what's the biggest piece of bullshit you've heard? Joe Biden. He can sniff the Pamunda my balls. That was Where is it? Tim. Pamunda my balls. That's where Biden can sniff. Where? From under my balls. Motor boy! You didn't tell the joke ah, correctly. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I got a blowjob just right over there last year, so. Yeah, she's just rearing to go. I ended, so. That, it was good for me, anyways. Alright, pull that clutch in. Give a gas, give a gas. There you go. <laughs> That's a two stroke there. <laughs> you gonna get a chip in your arm? I am. I said, are you? No, are you? No, I'm not either. I'm trying to get to that one world government stuff. What's the one world government? I don't know. I hope we never see it. <laughs> Who do you think made it up? Our government. Yeah, Trump. I don't know so much Trump, but that's a whole group of people up there, you know? They're going into the neighborhoods now. Who is? Uh, Antifa. I think they come to my neighborhood. I'm shooting them. Break some arms, break <laughs> some heads. Look at those oh, arms, bro. Boss. He could do it. That's probably what's going to happen. These bikes are vibrated between the chick's legs. They love that vibration, baby. I'm not wearing a mask right now. <laughs> got big dicks, man. It's all about riding in the hills. We have a 39 year old trike. That's got 230, <laughs> 260,000 miles on it. Stay at Eagles Landing, which is a good, peaceful. I like this man. Our, our campground. Bike! Bike or die! <laughs> I love noise! I fought for this country. Keep it free. Whoa! Yeah! Woo! You know, it's like the world is kind of messed up right now. I carry, and I'm very <laughs> proud of that. I'm not in a militia. I love my guns. I love my Second Amendment. The forefathers, that's what they, you know, wrote. You know, the Declaration of Independence, the Second Amendment. I'm just here to have a good time and have fun. You know, nobody's going to take my rights away. Wearing this while you're riding on a bike is like wearing a condom to bed by yourself. I just woke up, fucking hung over as hell. Somebody was in the bathroom. I went out back to the house to take a pee and thought I had to fart and never trust a fart when you're hungover. Well, it might not be a fart. <laughs> yeah, she's not Sarah happy. Palin, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, what the fuck friend, is man. that? Yeah, he, the, uh, he understands the, the uh, policy. He's not opposed to the American way. The whole other side wants to destroy America. They're telling us what to do, where to go shopping, where to go out, when not to go out, what to wear when you go out. Bullshit. They can take sports and stuff, stuff them up their ass because if they're going to kneel for the American flag, then I have no use for these people at all. What do you think should happen to them? They have that right. We fought, so they had that right. right. Like, listen, black lives matter, white lives matter, every life matter. Oh, Americans matter. If they start saying Americans matter, I think we'll be a lot better off. 
everyone in this country deserves the right to live the way they want to live. What? <laughs> Because it's got the flame design and the skulls on it. This one is probably my favorite because it's a double sided and because it's meant for throwing. If you want them to die slowly and semi painfully, you slit their jugular. If you want them to die instantly, you go for their heart or the soft spot on their skull. If you had to stab anybody, who would it be? Um, my ex, Randy. <laughs> acted like he cared so much but when i actually needed him to be there he never was so he he would be the first person that i would stab yes <laughs> so if you had to stab somebody it would watch be out randy my mother it's whoa of how she treated me growing up it's why i became obsessed with knives it's why knives are almost always on that's another one of the reasons oh she's wearing a dog collar i just noticed that because he's a lot like me, and I never would have known that if we hadn't started talking. How do you feel about Sturgis? Uh, considering that bikes are one of my biggest passions, I love it. Making us wear masks is tyranny. Well, guess what? I get it, it's real. Guess I get what? It. They have the right to do whatever they want. But don't tell me what I have to do. I'm a registered nurse. This is bullshit. George Soros, he's an evil demonic yeah, fuck. And it's not even the blacks that are doing it. I'm sorry. No, it's the Democrats. whites that are doing all the rioting and all the bullshit, yeah. and they're using it as a platform to act like no, animals. What that cop did was a thousand percent wrong. Somebody dies that's part of this whatever, they can have a funeral that's a hundred thousand strong, and yet we can't go out of the house? Yeah. Bullshit. If you want this shit to end, get that orange bastard out that office and put some people, put somebody in there that's going to unite the people. We did more for the American people in three and a half years than Obama. It didn't eat. Well, I, don't, I don't agree with that one. Everybody they put in that office, all they doing is lying their damn pockets anyway. The they ain't people, for the people. The people and exactly. But another thing, blue lives do not matter. Hell, that was a job. That is not no damn life. That's a job. Well, they do get carried away and they're and they over do the get line. Carried away and, and they're over the line. You damn right they do. I agree. So blue lives do not matter, totally cause there's not a life. That's a job. That's a choice. Anybody can be a police. You need to set your ass down, learn the law, and stop beating on people, innocent people, killing innocent people. This shit is it, it just outrageous. You I need to stop. Good. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Oh, yeah, brother. We got you riled too now. <laughs> the coronavirus. <laughs> that, that guy, dude. Wow. I mean. It was just as bad as I thought it was going to be, but honestly, I was prepared for way worse. Yeah. I think he probably cut a whole bunch of footage out. He probably had to. Probably had to. But it's just insane to me. It's insane to me. My favorite part, and I'm so glad that it happened because I heard it so much. So much. November 4th. November 4th, all this stuff's going to be over with. November 4th, oh, it's a political tool. Worst God, ever has God been. Almighty, dude. Here. God Almighty, man. More Americans are dying. Now. And, and it's not like it's just this exclusive United States thing that happened. Why would it matter if November the 4th? Because it happens Because everywhere. everything, what was really interesting to me, was when the, the term got coined fake news and who it was coined by and who was actually perpetuating the fake news. Yeah. The man should have went ahead and made that his own news network. <laughs> fake, fake news, news. Network. Here I am. Opinion. <laughs> Everything that you want to hear and any fact that goes against your platform or your agenda is wrong. Very popular and oh it still Oh my happen. God, dude. And and I'm beyond, like I've had this conversation with, with one of my friends, uh, my best friend actually, who's incredibly intelligent. And... I, I've said before, like, I have bipolar disorder, so sometimes I get a little bit more worked up about things than I should. It's unhealthy for me, and it's also not fair for the people that I get irritated with 
with how I act. So I had to ask him. I was like, dude, I'm feeling about this stuff right now. The people that are still going on about the mask situation and how much it infringes on on them and all their this rights. stuff and their rights and and just that whole lunacy about it being strictly a political agenda and fake and all this stuff i am not going to be able to respect those people ever again it is just over and for it's, for me like it's just oh i can't well, what did your best friend say he said that that's understandable at this point there was a period of time where we just didn't know. It was crazy. People were getting jacked up. And medical professionals and scientists were saying, This is what we this think. Is, this is going to be bad. And we're pretty sure it's going to be bad. But at the same time, we don't know. Yeah. Now, we know. It's not even just professionals warning about it. Because professionals warn you about hurricanes coming. It might rain tomorrow. Professionals have studied their their science and tried to predict those sorts of things, and sometimes they're wrong. Yeah. I'm not an economist. I'm not a virologist. I'm not any... I was a, a hospital corpsman for three years, so I worked in the medical field a little bit, enough to know that your lung function is a huge deal. But these people who it was their little literal life's work and dedication to study and understand these things Fake news. are just completely wrong. Right. They may be off a lot because when you're dealing with things that take the smartest people in the entire world and the most complicated and things, things that change. we know, right, then yeah, they'll probably be off by a little bit. But to, but to say, say that it's completely fake and completely wrong when there are people around the world in mass graves because of it? Dude. But I don't know anybody who has that. Yet. And now they do. Yeah, yeah it's just really sad, to be honest, because it's been politicized uh, in America, if you're not watching, but you probably know. But um, for what reason, though? Yeah. But for what reason? So that the economy didn't look bad when it was election time? But... Let them stack. Let them die. At this point, it it is... That was the mindset, anyway, behind saying it's a sham. Who cares what happens to the little people? Just make sure the economy doesn't look bad. And as long as I get reelected, whatever. But here we are. But here we are. You didn't. That has And happened. oh well. And people are still and dying. And still, dude, and still people are dying. And still people are trying to fight that and the exact fact situation. That our officials didn't tell us what they knew when they knew it. Now, if they didn't know, then just say. Then just say. No, they knew. We don't know exactly what it is, but it's coming. It's going to be bad. And this is what information that we have. That's all that I want. Yeah. But no, they wouldn't tell us anything because that might affect the economy. They pretended it wasn't real because that might affect the economy. And now it's the death toll of a 9-11 every single day. But you won't see the murals. You won't see the patriots flying their flags. You won't see a demonstration to help people get masks or hand masks out to people. You won't Some, see it's... you won't see what happened after 9/11 for this. You won't until people's daughters, moms, dads in the ground accumulate to enough that nobody can deny it anymore. And the thing that really disheartens me is, you know, some of the people that we love have fallen victim to those ideas. And, oh, that is such a tragedy. And if something happens to the people that I love because they believe that, like, I don't know how I'll cope. Well, like I said to my friend, I'm just done. I'm not even going to entertain it anymore. Right. Like, I'm not going to entertain it anymore. I'm just going to be like, ha, ha, ha. And if something tell happens me to about either the flat one earth of us, too. like, yeah. I know that we've tried absolutely the most that we possibly mm -hmm. could. Yeah. We've done as much as we possibly could, and that's all that we can do. And I hope that you all are doing as much as you possibly can for yourselves and for your family and for your loved ones. And if you're in similar situations, my heart goes out to you because it's 
a really difficult time. And yeah. if you're watching this and you're laughing and you're you're joking and ha 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 and you've made it this far, congratulations. We appreciate that. Yeah. Um, but you know, just uh, do your own research. Actually. Yeah. Not sitting on the toilet with your cell phone. The go YouTube to, comment to, section here go to isn't going to help journals, you. <laughs> go to places that aren't paid by politicians to make sure that their agenda is getting spouted. So go and look at real research, real stuff that's not for show, that's not to persuade you to buy in while supplies last. It's ridiculous, and unfortunately, democracy is difficult when um, more than 50% or a little under for 50% of the people are absolute morons. I mean, my <clears throat> world has been sh like just everybody's shook world to has changed. Core. Everybody's world has changed, and the lens uh, through which we view people and places is going to be forever changed. It just is what it is. And this was a perfect example in this video. I'm glad. Thank you so much. Um, all, all gas, no brakes. Great channel, really, really funny stuff. We're definitely going to be checking uh, definitely, out Definitely, there's several other videos that I saw that Beautiful. looked great. So I can't wait to watch that. And if you enjoyed this video, if you'd give us a like, a subscription, you know, we, we love to entertain you further and give you our perspective on things. This video, I mean, <laughs> I, 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 really, I really get shocked by people uh, and... There's a certain point where I no longer get frustrated and angry that I just laugh as things burn to the ground. And that's pretty much what I, what I have to do with normal. this situation. I hope everyone out there is safe. I hope everybody is having a good time. And uh, I guess that's going to be it for this one. Um, go check out All, Break, or All Gas, No Breaks. And uh, we will be checking him out in the future. That's going to do it for us. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.